this is Nancy, your favorite library girl, sister, friend, cousin, auntie, etc., etc. This is a quick visual blurb of my trip to the other side of the world, Egypt to see the pyramids of Cairo, Jordan to see the lost city of Petra, and New York to live a little on the island of Manhattan. I had a one-day layover in New York before heading out to Egypt. I did a quick sightsee and brought the library's traveling uterus, Tallulah. Yes, I did say traveling uterus. Unfortunately, she is lost in New York and I worried about returning with the bad news. But not for long, as I was off to Cairo the next day. Cairo was indeed a dusty place. I thought it was smog or some type of air pollution. Our tour manager told us the haze was sand dust. Well, Cairo was cheap as heck, and I used my good old OC swap meet bargaining skills to get some TNTs, as I call them, otherwise known as trinkets and trash. As you'll see, I'm there at the Pyramids of Giza. That shot of me tapping the top of the pyramid was taken by a very crafty little Egyptian boy, who slowly led me and another to an isolated corner to where his thugs were. I wouldn't call them thugs, and of course I let out an audible protest. Uh-uh, I'm not going there. And I think he saw that I was sort of a loud girl, loud enough to call over the guard with a rifle. And so there I sat as he took this smart shot. I pulled out a couple American dollars, and the older brother approached and said he couldn't change small American dollars. Oh, really, I thought. So I came back with... Well, let me exchange it with my tour manager and was about to walk when he quickly changed his mind. I felt sorry for the senior couple I saw slowly being pulled back into the alley. The camel rides was so much fun. It took a minute to get the camel groove going. The poor lady behind had trouble using her butt muscles for balance. The sphinx was amazing to see, and I didn't know papyrus is recyclable paper. You can wash it and reuse it, even if you use pen too bad I didn't buy any. It seems that all other papyrus selling on the street was really banana paper. Had dinner on the Nile and saw a fake belly dancer. Yes, I said fake because you can clearly see in the photo that she has fake tatas, and she made a killing as she pranced around the room strategically picking the ones to pose by as her photographer snapped each photo returning by the end of the dinner to sell them. Of course, all the guys bought theirs. Our tour manager said that good belly dancers make at least two grand a night in clubs that cost you over 200 bucks to get in. I guess it pays to shake it. The twirly dude was amazing, constantly spinning for the full 20 minutes, keeping his skirt up and all. Too bad there wasn't enough for us ladies to see, as I'm sure he would have went home happy. Just kidding. I almost missed the night pyramids and sound show because I overslept. When I ran downstairs to the lobby, they had already left, so I took a taxi and miraculously found them on the road. The taxi ended up in front of the bus. I happened to look behind and recognize our bus driver waved at him and he honked. The taxi stopped, our tour manager jumped out in surprise, and I jumped back on the bus to the surprise of everyone as they whispered in awe at my bravery. Really, it seemed quite safe as long as a hotel hails the cab for you. There was a photo of that toilet thing. I thought it was for your feet. Apparently, it's used to clean other parts of your body. Just make sure you use warm water. Food was great. However, I did get a funky tummy ache, and I suspect it was from our last dinner in Egypt. Others suffered, but I didn't get the brunt of it until I was in New York. Lovely mosaics in Jordan, beautiful hotel in Petra. Would definitely stay there a few more days. The walk to the lost city of Petra was almost grueling. Great weather for walking, though, with options to ride the donkey, carriage, horse, or camel. New York in three days was a whirl. I stayed in Greenwich Village in a comfy small B&B, rode the subway, and walked everywhere in Manhattan. Saw Times Square, amateur night at the Apollo Theater, smell lot at the Schubert, Equus with that Harry Potty dude. Yeah, it was a potty play. New York Public Library, the Metropolitan Museum, Central Park, and that crazy Halloween parade. I was very glad to get home, and after all that walking, I still weigh the same.